So if you guys like conspiracy theories, then you better buckle up and hold on tight because today's video is gonna be a bumpy ride! Hey guys, it's Jordan. Welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, expect to literally be shooketh to the core. Last night, as I was exporting and uploading my reaction to Antonio Garza's Bleach Fail, shameless plug if you want to check out that video, it's now up on my channel, I came across this video in my feed by Petty Page. And if you do not know who that is, I will leave her link to her channel down in the description below because you need to check out this channel. Like, oh my God, I, I started to watch this video and I have never been so shooketh. Like, I feel like I'm living in some Truman show, like parallel reality, I don't even know. But let's hop right into this video and you will understand in a second. And I assure you, you will be shooketh to the core. What if I told you that YouTube is going corporate? You would believe me, right? Well, what if I told you that YouTube is using the help of corporations to get rid of commentary channels, drama channels, science channels, true crime channels, socio-political channels, and anything that could possibly fall under the umbrella of not advertiser friendly? You would say that that's super far-fetched, right? Like, go home, Petty, you are drunk. Well, I might be, but that's not the point. There's a few things that I and other members of the YouTube community have spotted in regards to the recent I'm changes nervous. and the vulnerability of some channels. I must warn you that this is going to be a wild ride. That includes Shane Dawson, Rich Lux, Jeffree Star, Susan Wojcicki, or however the hell you pronounce her last name, Spill Sesh, Lonely Girl 15. Okay, Rich Lux's makeup in this picture doesn't look anything like it normally does. It looks like the Jeffree Star version of Rich Lux, if that makes sense, because he usually has like those giant white circles under his eyes. Anyways, I like this version better, actually. And the new channels, Spill, Brew, and Grill, and the new animated series, On the Hill. Before we start, this is why I'm shook. Nothing that I'm speaking about in today's video is fact, it is merely speculation and conspiracy theories. But if you're ready to put on your tinfoil hats and follow me down the rabbit hole, then let's get straight into the drama. Hello, everybody. Um, I'm gonna fix the camera a little bit. Um, so, a lot has happened since we saw each other last. <laughs> Something really that happened last night. If you haven't you heard about this- remember that in the series with Shane when they were going through and they were using that, I think it was Adobe, this new software where it's like Photoshop for your voice, where you put in a new voice and they make, was it called Deep Fakes? Or no, Deep Fakes is the one where they did the pictures. Anyways, this one was like a Photoshop for your voice where they recorded your voice and then they took a little snippet of it and then you could like create a robot version of this person's voice. Keep this in mind because it's very important for what comes next. Garbage, then good for you. I wanna explain some things as well as get into some and you have all probably seen all of the pictures with Shane and Jeffrey and Rich Lux lately. And I don't know about you, but I watched that entire podcast with Susan and Alfie. I'm so shook. It's like I can't wait for you guys to see this. We all know why you're here to find out the gossip, the tea, who shaded who, who be out here fighting. Well, today's video is going to be slightly different as I'm speaking on the YouTube community and the erasure of drama channels and commentary channels and who the hell might be behind it. This is more than tea, honey segregated problem within the YouTube community. Several communities, including the LGBTQ plus community. Also, I'm going to pause. Do any of you guys watch the channel It's Keisha? Because whoever runs Petty Page, it reminds me of It's Keisha. Like their voices sound so similar. And now suffering at the hands of YouTube. So I decided to do some digging when my tinfoil hat started tingling. And I started putting some, probably unrelated, conspiracy theories together to show YouTube's flagrant hypocrisy and how they could possibly be using and slash or funding the animation company behind Spill, 
grill, brew and on the hill to sanitise the not so advertiser friendly side of YouTube. Or simply voices that they don't want to see broadcasted on the platform. Effectively censoring like, the this community is where and filling like, the void. It makes I've no been sense, watching but I spill. promise you it all will. So let's start with part one. All right, so we're going to get into why this, what Shane Dawson has to do with all of this. We're gonna have to start this video off with a, a few words because I am just at a loss right now. I'm at a loss for words, but I also got a lot of shit to say, so. Now this conspiracy theory pertains to Shane Dawson, and I swear you guys will not believe me, but I've been pondering on this for a hot minute. And if you keep up with my live streams, you'll- I personally had never heard anything of this from anywhere on YouTube, and the fact that this is not like insane mainstream news is crazy to me. I know that I've been talking about this theory because something seems very off, in my opinion. So what if I was to tell you that just like Phil DeFranco's random promotion of a channel with little to no content, the YouTube bosses- Essentially, I'm sure the rest of you guys have already seen her, but that channel, Janelle, she completely blew up overnight to like 3 million subscribers and she only had two videos. And then there's like this theory that all these YouTubers are shouting her out for no reason and they're kind of like, why are they giving her a shout out? Other than just because she's blowing up. So they think that YouTube is like paying them to give her these shout outs? We're employing one of the most well-known YouTube channels and currently one of the least problematic, Shane Dawson, to infiltrate the beauty community and to control what happens. I know, I'm crazy, but I promise you this theory will make sense and it'll even make you start side-eyeing Rich Lux, Jeffree Star and Shane- Hi. Dawson and what the hell they've got going on over there. So my theory started a few months back when Rich Lux posted a picture of him, Jeffree Star and Shane Dawson all together. The three- She's literally kissing the microphone. <laughs> she wants to be a YouTube star. <laughs> three of them were filming for Shane Dawson's new series that had a preliminary title of The Truth Behind the Beauty Community. We are all well aware by now that Rich Lux and Jeffree Star are very friendly with one another and frequently guest star on each other's channels. So them two being within close proximity of each other is not unusual. But being involved in Shane's video is a whole new kettle of fish for Rich. Rich wouldn't have been there unless Okay, he so there have already been a bunch of other drama channels that have been speculating what Shane Dawson's new series might have to be and that it might be some kind of social experiment involving other YouTubers or involving this whole drama get in with like Tati and James and stuff. If that's true, I like I'm checking out of YouTube. Like I don't know, my trust for all these giant creators would be gone if they were just using us as pawns in like a social experiment. But even this, what's coming up, this is like pushing it for me. Intrinsic cog of the video. So my instant thought was Shane Dawson is trying to work out if the drama channel's support is necessary for a successful launch. That's a viable excuse, right? And then shortly after, some big changes started happening within the drama community. Drama getting 2.0, Drama channels receiving PR, and most recently, being invited to product launches. And once again, my tin hat started tingling. Oh, you're so cute and needy. When Drama Getting 2.0 took place, it hit out of nowhere, with the most unproblematic YouTuber, Tati Westbrook, making a video dragging James Charles. The video's popularity wasn't just due to the scandal, it was in part due to Tati's reputation being squeaky clean. Tati being involved in drama is extremely rare. It's like seeing a freaking unicorn or something. Taking Tati's side was Jeffree Star, and nobody could understand why he inserted himself into the drama to promptly come onto YouTube and state that he's never doing this again. James Charles then goes on to do one traditional hoodie no makeup YouTube apology video before getting him and his receipts together and vindicating himself. Now who was the drama channel that spearheaded the subsequent videos that came out about the drama? Rich Lux. If you remember he was a channel who had the James Charles 24 hour YouTube drama watch yeah yeah. James Charles. I do remember I was watching Rich Lux he was always like the first one to post and he had all the tea. 24-7 drama watch, yeah, yeah. And the drama was so big that it didn't just get covered by the drama channels, but also the commentary channels and mainstream media. Meaning that drama channels now have the power to create a literal PR nightmares for YouTubers and or YouTube themselves. Like we really have that influence, honey. More recently we have seen drama- For me, this was like the craziest drama, craziest 
literal PR nightmare I've ever seen in YouTube history. I've never seen something that was like, like so we mainstream. we really have that influence, honey. More recently, we have seen drama YouTubers, Rich Lux, Nick Snyder, and Dustin Daly get invited to the Morphe Times Jeffree Star collaboration launch party. And now influencers are sending drama channels their PR. For instance, Patty Westbrook has sent a bunch of Halo Beauty products to drama channels with personal letters. And even I was approached by Shane Dawson to receive his collaboration with Jeffree Star. Why though? Like I'm grateful, don't stop. Please send me free shit. But that's not all that I think that Shane Dawson is up to. I Same. and others personally believe that Shane Dawson himself is running a drama channel of his own. So let's talk Spill Sesh in part four. This is where I'm shook. Spill Sesh is a new drama channel that was started around December 2018 that has recently just hit 100k. Congratulations. Now, I- Okay, how many of you guys have watched Spill Sesh already? Because I definitely have, so definitely let me know in the comments below if you have. But what I think is crazy is this is all alleged, right? Petty Page must be pretty confident, like pretty 100% sure in this theory if she's willing to go on a drama channel like and put on blast all of these other channels and like all of these creators and throw them all into this video. I know what you guys video. are thinking. Like she must so be what, Petty pretty Page? sure There's a new drama this. channel every week nowadays. Why does that even matter? Well, it matters because the drama spiracy around this theory is that Spill Sesh is Shane Dawson. This theory was started by a channel called Conspiracy, who originally thought that the channel was ran by Morgan Adams, Shane, Shane Dawson's soon-to-be sister-in-law. When people started listening intently to Spill Sesh's voice and realised that something was off, something was robotic, and then it clicked. Spill Sesh wasn't Morgan Adams' secret drama channel. It was Shane Dawson's. Take and all the rest of us that are like, what is Shane doing? Why is he so busy? If it, he's just filming this new series, like, does it really take up every single day of his? Meanwhile, like, Jeffree Star and all the other people that are involved in the series can go about their daily lives. Like, how come it's taking Shane his entire night and day? That's why, to me, I'm like, oh my god, it's because he's running this drama channel. He's entirely running an entire other channel to create so this series. Come look at what put together. As you may or may not know, I previously made a video addressing my theory that the tea channel Spill Sesh is actually Morgan Adams. Spill Sesh saw my video and commented just a tea emoji. And she actually addressed it briefly in one of her videos. I really do love you guys, and especially your Morgan Adam conspiracy theory. I see you guys in the comments, and I will talk to you guys in my next video. And then Spilly never addressed the issue. See, again. like, literally just hearing that one little comment that is unmistakably morgan's voice but you can hear the roboticness to it so i'm like was shane just using his last series not the eugenia one was shane just using those clips in the last series to show us like foreshadowing and so that when everything comes together we're all literally left like oh my god how did we not realize this all along like so now i have a new theory i no longer think morgan adams is spill sesh but I do think that her voice is being used for the channel. Because they never wrapped up in the other series why they talked about all of that stuff. They just kind of like brought it all up and were like, ooh, isn't this crazy? Who do we know who has access to Morgan's voice? Voice generator? Shane Dawson. Can we go to the Gucci store? Oh shit, like YouTube team. <laughs> Wait, if you upload that on Twitter, I think that they're literally all in on this, like Shane, Ryland, Morgan, I think they're all in on this drama channel. Drama. <laughs> like, people think that was real. Oh, James Charles, throw him in there. Interesting. Is it possible that Spill Sesh is actually Shane Dawson himself? I mean, let's draw up some reasons why it's possible that this is just Shane Dawson playing around with a drama channel formula. Well, there's no secret as to what works for drama channel thumbnails. Bright colors. I think this was a big social experiment and we are literally the pawns to the experiment. Bright colors, bold titles, and flattering high definition pictures of YouTubers. And we all like to see receipts in the thumbnail 
to where possible. Using bold yellow text is the most well-known drama channel technique that many drama channels from T by Ali, Drama Investigator, T Spill, Dustin Daly, and even I have used in our YouTube thumbnails. From the jump, Spill Sash has used the- And that's why this drama channel kind of popped up is because they look just like every other drama channel. So, and with a name, just like every other drama channel, you're just gonna click anyway being like, oh, I already follow these people, but you didn't. Those techniques. Their video editing skills are on point, as in this is somebody who has edited videos before because to many people their editing style would be considered complex. Exactly. If their editing skills are on point and these thumbnails are like amazing and this is a brand new YouTuber, coming from somebody that has been doing YouTube for over 10 years, you don't just learn how to edit and be a guru at YouTube overnight or just by watching channels. Like, you have to dive in and have hands-on experience with this. So whoever created this channel knows YouTube and they know what they're doing or they have an entire team of experts on YouTube working with them. Perhaps YouTube themselves? And even take a look at Spill Sash's new intro. Why use conspiracy-themed music from the X-Files for a tea channel? And what's with the robotic voice? Because it's Shane Dawson. What are they hiding? Hey guys, it's Spilly and welcome back to Spill Sesh. That's totally Morgan's voice. Read that Shane Dawson is Spill Sesh is correct. It would only further prove how strong the voices in the drama community are and how much influence we really have. We as drama and commentary channels essentially control the YouTube ecosystem. More than YouTube themselves. So it's- That's quite a big claim. I think just drama in general controls the ecosystem, not necessarily the drama channels, but like everybody reports on drama. So, is it possible that Spill Sesh is a social experiment to be included in the The Truth Behind a Beauty Community YouTube video? Is this social experiment conducted by YouTube? Only time will tell. I am literally completely shooketh to the absolute core. Like, if we are all just a giant pawn in this experiment by Shane Dawson for his next series, like, good on you for, like, keeping the wool over the lamb's eyes or whatever that saying is, but, like, I am totally shook by this, and I am, a, I'm totally on board. I'm 100% invested in this conspiracy and I think it's real. I think that our next series from Shane is definitely going to be him being like, hey guess what? I introduced you guys to that voice photoshopping because I actually created this drama channel and ha ha ha, joke's on you. But the deeper issue here is after Shane's series, are they going to like ban drama and commentary channels? Is that what's going to happen here on YouTube? Like, I'm shook. Let me know what you guys think of this entire conspiracy, whether you think that this is Shane Dawson or Morgan Adams running this channel or the both of them, and what do you think this means for the greater picture of YouTube? Do you think that they're going to be trying to get rid of drama and commentary channels? Do you think that they're trying to wash clean YouTube and make everything advertiser friendly? I don't know, but I personally am shooketh. Let me know what your guys' thoughts are down in the comments below, and I guess that, that is it for this video. So as always, make sure to be weird, be wild, and stay sparkly, and I will catch you guys in the next video, but like, <gasps> I'm shook.